Morning guys, I hope y'all are doing good. Sitting here on the front porch this morning and Miss Flame is videoing for me and my kids are inside here so you may see or hear them in a little bit. But um, I miss seeing you guys, I hope y'all are doing good. I wanted to uh, teach you a Bible lesson this morning. You know, it's my favorite subject and I, I miss being able to do that. I um, miss you guys being in that room with me. So uh, I... Uh, I like this Bible lesson. I think it's a good one. If you uh, have read the email, it's coming out of Acts chapter 8, and it's coming off of page uh, 164 in your Bible book. So hope you're there. I'm going to give you a little background real quick. Uh, to know sometimes what's happening in the Bible, you need to look a few chapters ahead. And um, what had just taken place was um, Acts. I love that book because it's an action book in a way. It's um, right after, uh, it describes the events, a lot of the events that happened right after Jesus had um, ascended to heaven. So after he had died on the cross for our sins, rose three days later, walked, hung out with folks, ate with folks um, for 40 days, and then he ascended to heaven. And so now um, Pentecost had also happened, which we had talked about um, in class this year. Um, where all the believers were gathered, Peter gave a speech, the Holy Spirit came, which Jesus had promised would come. That was like Acts 3, I believe. And now we're in um, we're Acts 6, 7, and then going into 8. And so the believers, the Christians, the early Christians, had started spreading the news. That's what Jesus had commanded them to do. And one of those early believers' names was Stephen. And um, I love what the Bible says about Stephen, um, the Bible says in chapter 6 that Stephen was a man full of God's grace and power. Wow. You know, I've told y'all before that, you know, if there was to be another Bible written, and if you were in it, what would you want said about you? And I just think that that's awesome that Stephen is described in the Bible as a man full of God's grace and power. So Stephen um, had been uh, preaching the good news of Jesus, and... Um, like Christ promises us, uh, this isn't a perfect life. We're going to have trouble, and um, a lot of times we're going to be persecuted, or you might say be treated badly. Um, and badly can go from being made fun of, to being put in prison, to even being killed. And in Stephen's case, he was stoned. And it is believed that Stephen was one of the first Christians to die for his beliefs. And... Um, that had just happened um, in chapter 7. So now we're going into chapter 8, and um, verse 1 starts out, On that day a great persecution broke out, broke out against the church at Jerusalem, and all except the apostles were scattered throughout Judea and Samaria. Godly men buried Stephen, he was the one that died for his beliefs, and mourned deeply for him. But Saul began to destroy the church, going from house to house. He dragged off men and women to put them in prison. Um... There's a lot of characters, there's a lot of places that are going to be mentioned, but basically um, the church, the folks that believed in Jesus were starting to be persecuted for their beliefs. Stephen had passed away because he was stoned to death, and this man named Saul, who was eventually going to become Paul, is destroying the church. And um, there's just so much happening in this story, uh, but the one thing I want you to think about first is that the believers are being scattered. Um, most of them, except for the apostles, uh, are staying staying in Jerusalem. Um, also pay attention that um, Saul, who's later going to become Paul, is, being, uh, is one of the leaders that is uh, putting Christians in prison and for their beliefs. Now we've got another character, and his name is Philip. It says, uh, those who were scattered began to preach the word wherever they went. Philip was one of those. I'm in verse 5 now. Philip went down to the city in Samaria and proclaimed, that Jesus, and proclaimed Jesus there. When the crowds heard Philip and saw the miraculous signs that he did, all paid close attention to what he said. So, um, what happened to the believers that were um, scattered, if they weren't the apostles, which the apostles were the folks that actually saw Jesus, believed in Jesus, hung out with Jesus, the main, his main 12, kind of the disciples in a way, 
Um, the other ones were scattered out, and they went to Judea and Samaria, and there, what did they do? They preached Jesus, because that's what Jesus commanded them to do. So, um, people were starting to pay attention to Philip. Philip uh, was not only preaching Jesus, but he was doing miraculous signs, because Jesus promised that we would do greater things than what he had even did while he was here on earth. And uh, another thing, this is coming from verse, uh, another point, excuse me, that's coming from verse 7 is, that uh, Philip was even able to drive out evil spirits and even healed folks, which is something that Jesus did as well. And so now there's this great joy in the city of Samaria because Jesus is being preached by Philip and people's lives are being changed when they experience Jesus. Now another man's coming in on the scene here in Samaria. His name is Simon, and his title is Simon the Sorcerer. So now for some time, a man, Simon, had practiced sorcery in the city and amazed all the people of Samaria. He boasted uh, about being s someone that was great, and all the people, both high and low, gave him attention. And they thought that this man was from God because of everything that he did. So I'm going to stop the video here, and then I'm going to make another one to finish the story. Thanks.